Now is the time to get the most intelligence out of your data. Hello and thank you for joining us for this episode of HXGN TV. I'm your host, Laura Beth Ezel, and today joining me I have uh, Jack Williams and Jamie Algon, both from Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure. And these two product experts are going to give us some insight into the future of analytics. And they're going to discuss some of the Hexagon technologies you know, that help us leverage the data you have, you know, and then how to take actionable measures with it to make better decisions. Thank you both for joining me today. And thanks Thank for you. having us. First, you know, um, Jack, we'll start with you. You know, both of you just tell me about your roles at Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure. Yes, yeah, so um, I'm the product manager of our integration platform, Edge Frontier, which is our simple, easy to use integration platform. I'm also product manager of our new analytics product line, the Intergraph Insight Analytics. And um, with that, uh, we're, we're looking to roll out a, a new product family of analytics products to help meet our customers' needs. Okay. Jamie? Yeah, and, and I'm the product manager for our web-based records management mm -hmm. system, uh, obviously helping with a lot of the investigative tools for, for public safety agencies, uh, and then also the business intelligence and reporting solutions that Intergraph has to offer. Okay. Well, let's get right into it. You know, why do we see more and more uh, companies, you know, trying to harness the power of analytics? It's a good question, and you know what it is is there is a lot of data out there, mm -hmm. um, social, mobile, cloud, Internet of Things. I mean, there's just tons of data, and people um, are getting used to seeing analytics embedded into their daily lives. Um, Fitbit, you know, right. that's analytics yeah. on on tap. Um, public safety agencies, though, they want to be able to to leverage all this realms of data and be able to um, get better situational awareness, um, save time and money. And what I'd like to say is be more proactive instead of reactive mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to uh, analytics and, and just responding. Yeah, it's a great point, Jack. And, and really, that started with the business intelligence solutions that, that Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure mm -hmm. had to offer. Uh, it really gave a situational awareness, as Jack alluded mm -hmm. to. Uh, but more importantly, really understand the trends of an agency so mm -hmm. they can look at that information, these massive amounts of data, and then utilize that to be a more efficient agency. Uh, plan their resources more accordingly, uh, obviously deploy those resources in the areas that they're needed, uh, and it really helps the public to get a, a better outcome of that, that solution that's being provided. You know, what are some of the benefits that you've seen uh, from companies that are implementing some of these, the right tools in managing their data? Well, the, the main benefit is they're, they're focusing the, the, the right resources to the right place at the right time. Mm -hmm. They're getting better situational awareness. We need to be able to mine and take advantage of the, an agency's most underutilized asset, which is big data. And so we have to be able to um, be more efficient, be, once again, be more proactive instead of reactive, mm -hmm. and, and take advantage of the data. Um, analytics is simply looking at historical data, doing some modeling, um, trying to forecast, trying to prepare the, the citizen, trying to pre prepare the first uh, responder mm -hmm. on what is most likely to happen and how best to respond to it. And that, those are the benefits that are, that are directly um, impactful for our customers. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, saying there's all this data out there, obviously you want to do something with it, but you've got to have a tool. It, it's hard to just, you know, sit down. So let's talk about some of the tools that Hexagon has to offer in the analytics realm. Yeah, uh, Laura Beth, so, so some of the first tools that Intergraph provided uh, with our solutions was the business intelligence application. Um, BI uh, for CAD and also the records management solution really help, helped our agencies get an operational understanding of what's going on, when it's happening, and that's leveraging some of the SAP tools. Mm -hmm. uh, as we look forward to that reporting platform, uh, we start to look at, into agencies that are using other applications and solutions. So we start mm -hmm. looking at partnerships uh, and working directly with companies, uh, specifically Microsoft is, is another solution, no different than Oracle and SQL uh, mm -hmm. for the back end of the application, but now the, the front end for the reporting application. So uh, we see that agencies are starting to use that, and we're starting to get a, a real good understanding of how they're putting that to use. Uh, and of course, that's the reporting, that's the, the tabular or summary types of reports, uh, a little bit of graphical format and information to them so we can get some understanding. But really, Jack's tools come into play here, and, and, and the analytics that they provide mm -hmm. really escalate that capability. Yeah, and, and you know, so what we're offering, um, at what we'll be rolling out, is a new product family called Insight Analytics. And um, the first product in that product family that, that we're going to be offering soon is called Insight Analytics Explorer. 
And what it is, Laura Beth, is it is a self-serve analytical platform that allows users of all background types, mm -hmm. okay? So that could be from a crime analyst all the way to the, the chief. And allow them to search, explore, mm -hmm. and discover things hidden within their data. And I'm talking structured and unstructured data. Mm -hmm. Now, the Analytics Explorer is just the first in, the, in, in a line of many to come. Okay. But it is, uh, if I had to describe it, it's very, um, uh, it's very much a self-directed experience, meaning um, that it's more exploratory in nature, more ad hoc. Okay. And, um, uh, it, it helps people to discover new data, new trends in their data, and to uh, look for answers um, to their questions as they arise in an ad hoc manner. So, how do we see these products, you know, meeting our customers' needs? Yeah, I, I think one of the big things that we start to realize is customers' budgets uh, are okay. constraining both their their software solutions mm -hmm. that they can purchase and acquire, uh, and obviously the resources that they can deploy in the street. So mm -hmm. really one of the, the big mantras that, that Jack and I have focused on with our products is provide a very cost-effective solution, mm -hmm. uh, something that's not going to burden them with a high budget item. Uh, and more importantly then, also expand that out. You know, historically we, we've looked at data sets that are just records and just CAD, uh, but expand that information out to other solutions that an agency uses. That could be red light uh, traffic cameras, it could be fire records or patient care data, uh, and be able to easily use these same tools that, that our product uh, suite provides uh, to analyze that information. And we see a lot of commonalities between mm -hmm. CAD and records and a lot of the other information that's being captured within an agency. Yeah, and when it, when it comes to meeting our customers' needs, I mean, we're hearing our customers. They want right. analytics embedded into their day-to-day -day workflows. Mm -hmm. They want it to be a part of their lives. And so with our Insight Analytics product family that we're coming out with, we really plan to address that need to, once again, better situational awareness, mm -hmm. be more proactive instead of reactive, and ultimately help, uh, help them put the right resources in the right place at the right time. Do you either have some tips or tricks you know you can share uh, with our audience about how to use analytics analytics to shape smart change? Yeah, I mean, if if I was to to give a tip or a trick to a yeah. to an agency, I would say you know when it comes to analytics, you know you you don't realize it, but companies and services that you use already are, are leveraging analytics. Yeah. Think about how you could leverage analytics inside of a public safety environment, and there are things that we can do to embed analytics into our workflow. So just start thinking, say you know, hey, there's a large amount of untapped data that we are underutilizing. Let's perform analysis on that. Let's incorporate that into our workflows and become a more efficient agency. So that would be my advice. No, uh, that, that hits it right on the head. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, you stole a lot of words from me there. I know, but, I'm uh, sorry. <laughs> no, I mean, Jack and I think a lot alike, and, and I think that's the thing, is really understand the power of your data and understand how it can affect how you operate as an agency how much more efficient you can become, and then more importantly, probably how you can relate that information back to the community uh, and mm -hmm. how the community can actually use that as a resource. Uh, they can really understand what's happening op operationally within the agency, mm -hmm. uh, where their officers are, when are the busiest times, and sometimes often, where's the safest community to live and where not to live. Right. Uh, so things like that become a powerful tool for the communities. Which people do look into. And people exactly. do, absolutely. They, they want that information. Exactly. You know, so what is the future of analytics? Well, that's a that's a that's a big <laughs> question, Laura. Beth. Um, so the future in, in the industry itself, as as a whole, I mean, analytics is a very broad Futures, term. Futures, you need to harness it. <laughs> <laughs> right. 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 <laughs> um, the the industry is moving. I mean, it's it's already embedded into your daily right. lives. But eventually, I mean, looking long term, uh, things are going to become more predictive in nature. Mm -hmm. They're going to become not only predictive but automated based off of analytics. So look for that in the future. With regards to hexagon safety and infrastructure, um, like I said, we see the needs with our analytics, inside analytics and reporting stack um, that we'll be rolling out over the next several years, um, we plan to address those needs. And, and that's, that's gonna be the future. It, it is a big area of emphasis and investment for hexagon safety and infrastructure. Uh, so when we look at cloud first, mobile first, it's really a mantra that this product suite aligns with very well. Yeah. Uh, and really meets a lot of uh, our customers' needs and desires. Good point. Okay. Well, thank you both. Hey, thank, thank you. you. For your Appreciate being today. here. Love talking about it. <laughs> and thank you for joining us for this episode. If you would like to learn more about Hexagon Safety and Infrastructure, you can go to hexagonsafetyinfrastructure.com. And for more on HXGN TV or to watch additional episodes, you can go to hxgntv.com. Thank you for joining us. Thanks.